Hello, my name is Alejandro Ramos and I was born and raised in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Art is special to me because it allows me to explore my creativity and express myself through multiple mediums. I'm a founding member of the Student Advisory Board here at CARDI and I am committed to making sure that this is a museum experience that you enjoy. One tip when you're going through a museum is to look at art for what it is. Look at the painting, look at the design, look at the colors, and look at the style. Even try to understand the meaning behind the painting, and I guarantee you have a better experience in doing all those things. So I hope you have a great time, and I hope you enjoy. Hello, my name is Ava Basile. I am currently a junior at Joe Barlow High School, making me 16, and I am the artist who made the Dirt Hut. Uh, hello, my name is Mark Despard. I am 16. I live in Willimantic, Willimantic, Connecticut. I go to NFA, all the way in Norwich. Um, Hi, my name's Nate. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Westport, Connecticut. Um, I'm just here to talk to you today about um, my career as an artist and as an art student. Um, I first started drawing, like, when I watched Jurassic Park. I saw the big dinosaurs, the big long neck, seeing how giant they were and how scary the T-Rex was. I just wanted to draw them after that because they were so cool. I wanted to bring them to life, like the movie brought the dinosaurs to life in that. I've always loved to draw and um, art class was always my favorite class um, throughout school, elementary school, middle school, high school. Um, and it was really my teachers that kind of recognized that I was pretty good at art. And my parents really promoted me taking classes outside of school. Um, and I really just drew a lot and worked towards developing my skills. I'd say I started getting interested in arts or drawing in general when I was in fourth grade. A friend of mine who was and still is a very good artist uh, inspired me to start drawing. I wanted to be like them and so I started practicing constantly and now I'm here. <laughs> The piece that I have up in Cardi is called Enough. It was a piece that I made before um, COVID, uh, but I think it kind of applies to how I felt during COVID. Um, and it was when I was developing artwork for my portfolio to get into art college um, and how Art was always my escape from academics and things like math and how now I was doing it for the purpose of college and school and finding the balance between doing art for fun and doing art to get me into college. Um, I made it out of a lot of torn up pieces of paper, um, things that I found around my house like math worksheets and magazines. Um, and I think that's something re really great about art is that you can make it out of absolutely anything and nobody can tell you you can't use a certain material. Um, and then I drew over the torn up collaged pieces of paper with pen. Um, and it just really started as a way for me to express my emotions at the time. Um, and just kind of getting it all out on paper. Um, and it was really just about like letting the artwork take me where it wanted to go. I knew I wanted like a collage and then I was like, oh, let me just draw over this. And it just sort of became what it became. My piece of art that is exhibited for Cardi is the Utah Raptor. I made it a year ago during COVID. I've like worked on it since just because it's fun. Um, yeah, it's fun to look up stuff. That was like the first thing that you have to do when you do dinosaurs, cause I mean, you gotta get it right. I You look up stuff, you look, at, look up how big they are, what they could do, like the Utah, Utah Raptor's toe claw and how they used it to just 
cut at the am the dinosaurs when they grab on. Or if you're doing a T-Rex, like how big their bite force was. They could crush a whole car with it. So you gotta like, do how big their muscles are. Once you get all like the research stuff right, then you can get creative. You can add the different colors, how spiky the feathers were, how they stick, whether or not they sticked up on the back of the head. You can add in the cool tail fan, add whatever colors you want to it. You can do yellow or whatever. Um, after that, got all the ideas. Then I started on the sketch, just rough draft, kind of fun. I didn't even plan on doing anything after that. It was just a fun thing. Do the sketch. I take a picture of that, add it to Procreate. There's this digital art thing where you can choose whatever colors, just online. Um, yeah, I just kept on working on it with that. Changed many of the colors, purples. Yeah, and then I just kept on working on it until how it is now. And I think it looks cool. Uh, hope you like it. I made the Dirt Hut around the month of March in 2021. I used some watercolors I'd gotten myself recently, some watercolor paper my parents had gotten me for my birthday, and a pencil just for like some rough, loose sketching. Um, I started by sketching out the bigger elements, so like the door and the light and the tree. Um, and then I put down the first base of water and watercolor. And then I started going back and adding in the little details, like the little flowers that walk you into the door and, um, and the hotel in the background. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening to me talk about the Dirt Hut, as well as myself a bit. I'm glad so many people enjoy it and find my piece entertaining. Thank you.